Well, we would first have to have an ideal world. And we don't have an ideal world. We have a world populated by humans who are badly divided on many of the most important issues. Uh, a few years ago before he died, Stephen Jay Gould uh, published a book in which he argued for uh, a peaceful solution with what he called non-overlapping magisteria. So noma, he called it. And he was responding to this uh, conflict between the atheists and the conservative Christians that he thought was harmful to science and for understanding science. And he said, why don't we uh, recognize that religion has this sphere, independent sphere, uh, of morality and ethics, and science has an independent sphere that deals with the natural world. And if we recognize that, there's, there's no overlapping, it's non-overlapping uh, domains, then we can have peace and harmony in an ideal world. Well, the problem, it was an interesting idea coming from somebody uh, not a Christian uh, who, was, who wanted harmony, but it was so unrealistic because the natural world is this huge sphere in this other world, he was given this other magisterium was this tiny little world. And the people who worked in this world were not willing to say nothing that we're talking about relates to the big world. Certainly, uh, conservative Christians aren't willing to do that. Uh, the, the intelligent designers want to move them all the way into this world. Uh, most, uh, most religious people who care about their traditions and their holy writings are not going to settle for that. So, and there are many people in the scientific community who want to say what's right and wrong in the area of values and ethics. So, as long as the people who populate these two worlds can't agree on this separation, you're not gonna have uh, this type of harmony. So it's like utopia. Uh, there have been some interesting proposals for utopian communities. I don't know of anyone that succeeded and I think we have to live with what we're facing right now, which means for me, to try to get out a little bit more accurate view of past relations, and I think it helps to start with a, with a, a, a real rather than a mythical idea of how science and religion have interacted uh, in the past. And it, it's, it's one small step toward uh, perhaps having a more civil discussion.